Yes, 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 welcome one, welcome all to yet another exciting edition of your favorite lifestyle television program, Upside Down, right here on City TV. My name is Nana Tufo. And I am Freyma Edunyame. And you know how we do it every Sunday. In fact, tonight is just going to be I and I. Yeah. Man. Fireworks, Rastafari fireworks, I. fireworks. Yeah, today, we're speaking <laughs> of mine and we're turning yeah. the world upside down. Exactly. You know who we're going to be talking to now? Right after this break, we will be delving into our conversation. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be fireworks. Just stay with us. on the Upside Down Show. We have a conversation with celebrated media personality and reggae artist Black Rasta on his media journey, his music, his thought on the industry and politics. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free-to-air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yes, we're coming to you an interesting show tonight. Because guess what? You know it, you know it, you know it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to bore you so much. Our guest tonight mm -hmm. is someone who is not afraid to speak his mind. Yeah. And I really yeah. admire him for mm. that bravado. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome our guest, the Black Rasta. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Rastafara, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
uh, okay. 360, you can power with any other person, mm -hmm. you can adjust and make it happen. And normally on the full moon, it doesn't rain. So what it tells you is that there's calm. Mm. You'll be able to predict that day. Yeah. You know, and just cut and go through. But isn't that ironical considering the type of fire you have in you? Yeah. Well, it is. It certainly is. Because mm. I think that a lot of people think that they can predict me. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I think I get a little unpredictable. Mm. Right. It's all because of the passion and the energy. Where you want to see the country go. Where you want to see your countrymen go. Mm. You know, and sometimes our countrymen make me feel like a genius. Mm. You know. Mm. Something everybody should know. You say it and people are shocked. They are wowed. Hey, where from this? And mm. you're like, whoa. <laughs> but, you know, so, so I'm sure that people who know you very well, you know, when um, you have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with you, mm. you sound very calm, you know, you appear very calm. So sometimes when people hear you speak, you yeah. ask yourself, is this the same person, you know? How are you able to manage that kind of style, you know, that you are calm at the same time, you are very fiery? Oh, very beautiful one. A lot of people have um, asked me that. There was uh, this gentleman called Nana Betran. I mean, he passed on a couple of years mm. ago. Mm. Uh, he met me one time for the first time, and he couldn't believe that this was the guy he was listening to on radio. Yeah. Yeah. I remember he came up to me, held me, and shook me. Is that really you? Mm -hmm. You know, show yeah. that other side yeah. of you. Yeah. You know, but all my anger is on radio, it's on TV. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I get on radio, I think I get possessed. Mm. There's mm. some spirit that gets inside me mm. and tells me, this is what I created you to do. Okay. You cannot spoil it. So I bang it big. And mm. when I leave, I'm like, ice water again. Mm. Mm. Right. Very cool and romantic. But at, at what point did you know? Or is this something that you had always wanted to do? Um, well, now I know that this was what I was born to do. Mm. But at the, when it all started, I wanted to be a doctor. Oh. Right. Then later, my father wanted me to be a fire engineer because he himself was a fire engineer. Mm. But I didn't do too well with my sciences. I didn't like chemistry at all. Mm. Uh, mathematics was also a big problem to mm. me. But I mean, with the arts, I could go to bed all the se semester mm. and just pick up my book for one day and go and break it, <laughs> break yeah. it into pieces. Mm. So I gravitated towards the arts more right. and it gave me more time to explore into other things. Mm. So there was a campus radio that came up and I went to audition. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I got on it. In yeah. fact, the secret basically yeah. was that I, I am an extreme shy person. Mm -hmm. mm. You see that all along this interview, I haven't looked at you in the faces. <laughs> yeah. looking at you. Extremely shy. <laughs> so I felt that going on radio will bring me some friends, especially mm -hmm. the females. Yeah. You know, because we had Africa Hall and oh, you had interest in the females. Uh -huh. we, yeah, man. I wanted to have a female friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my mind was that, all right, go on radio, make my show what you have. Then, you know, ladies normally get attracted mm -hmm. to beauty. But did you achieve that? They didn't no, work I for didn't. you. It didn't. Oh, are you sure? Oh, no, I didn't. Rasta is sure. In fact, when I got <laughs> on radio, I realized that, no, the calling was deeper than just female mm -hmm. friends. Right. Mm -hmm. but, yes. but, you know, let's go back to your school days, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Where have you come from in terms of school, primary school, secondary mm. school, tertiary? Yeah. Well, I went to, uh, well, I went to primary school in Tamale, uh, uh, T.I. Amadia Primary School. Okay. Right. Then from there I, do, I did some JSS, I mean I'm talking about Buzia's JSS in the days. <laughs> I finished J, it, then it was called JSS. Yes. Yeah. I finished yeah. in 1988. I went mm. in 1985 finished in 88. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Tamale Secondary School, okay. you know, where I did one year and then ran away to T.I. Amadea Secondary School. And why started did you run away? One in Kumasi, yeah. why, why did you run away? My father felt that uh, I was pampered. Mm. One, I went to, in fact, in those days you finished JSS mm -hmm. and then you went to the third year in the secondary school. Mm. So I went to the third year and I topped my class and he said, no, how could you leave JSS and come and top your class? They are not mm. serious, leave. Wow. So he asked me to go to Tia Amade Secondary School, okay. and then I started from one mm. in 1989, thereabout. And right. boy, my first examination, I think I was 24th out of 31 <laughs> students. And he says, yeah. yeah. Now, now you are in school. You are now, now you are in school. <laughs> Did you start off as a Muslim? Yes, I was born a Muslim, Ahmadi mm. Muslim, right from the start, you know. So Ahmadiyya Secondary School was my school yeah. from form one to upper six mm. before I went to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Mm. Cracked my BSc in there, mm. came out of BSc it and went what? to uh, BSc in land economy. Right. Okay. And then I went to the University of Coventry mm. in the UK where I cracked another MSc in oil and gas. Oh, wow. I started doing a PhD. 
held it back so I could gather the momentum and spring back. Oh, wow. So that's what I'm looking Impressive. at right now. More fire, Impressive. more fire, more fire. Now, more you fire. were in Kumasi, so from um, Tamasco, you come to Tia and Media, Media and then to KNUST. Yeah. Yeah. How has your living in Kumasi influenced, you know, yeah. how you do stuff? Wow, another wonderful one. Mm. You know, in the north, we have this kind of accent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven. A lot of us will say seven. Seven. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Also, a lot of us will say also. Yeah. yeah. Musk, in what they will say, mugs. Yeah. Okay. You see? Yeah. Different varieties exactly. of people yeah. and how mm. they speak. Mm. Mm. So when I left the northern region, Tamale, yeah. and came to the Ashanti region, mm -hmm. in fact, my speech was a big mockery for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would say this, they would laugh and yeah. say this, and yeah. it also, yeah. I think it also improved on my dressing. Because mm. okay. in those days, well, in the north, well, you just wear your slippers and mm. run around. But over there, your belt had to hey, match with what, what, what yeah. you yeah. had to blah, 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 yeah. boom, 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 <laughs> strap up. You know? Yeah, so you know, it packed me up, and then okay. I looked into okay. it. And <laughs> right, so yeah, at what nice, point, nice, nice. so, okay, so you started radio when you were on campus? Yeah, USD. Okay, mm. and what were you doing on radio at that time? Well, I was playing reggae music. I mean, mm. reggae was what I, I played. Mm. Okay. One hour of reggae music for two days, and then later they gave me some more time. Mm. Right. So reggae. Yeah. So about at what age did a Rasta come to you? Did you know that? Rasta came you? to me when yeah. I was at USD. There was this mm. brother called um, Hoops, Hoops, Hoops in Jepo, mm -hmm. but we called him Ras Shao. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was the one who initiated me into the faith. Mm. Right. When, I, when I came as a from one boy, you know, very quiet and, you know, trying to... Yeah. I had mm. listened to Raskimono's music, which inspired okay. me so much. Mm. In fact, Raskimono was my main mentor. Mm. Okay. You know, his yeah. Rasta lives. Yeah. Yes, you know. And so when I got in there, I realized that he was the Rasta man who was very popular. There were other Rastas like Rasbumba, Mapse, and the rest. Mm. So, but Shao was the one I got mm. very close mm. to. And we used to read the Bible together whilst mm. he was blazing his herbs. And, mm -hmm. you know. Were you yeah. blazing with him? No, I never blazed. I've never Is blazed. Is it because you're mm. sitting on TV? Uh, no, no. I've, I wish I was blazing so I could tell the whole world that, yes, I blaze and I feel high, you know, and feel good. You How know? come Rasta never blazed? Yeah. See. I've never blazed <laughs> anything blazer. Why? Because, because Rasta believes that, you know, that is a heavenly mm -hmm. herb and yes. it's got what it has to do. Yes. So why are you not doing what Rasta is supposed to do? It is true. But smoking is just one out of a million uses of marijuana. So mm -hmm. how do you use it? Uh, good one. I steam up myself and kill the coronavirus mm -hmm. with that terrible Meditation. smoke that comes out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah, I'm going to yes, yes, it blazes all over the place. Yeah, yeah, see? yeah, yeah that's how it works. Rasta. <laughs> I think it was never my calling. I tell mm. you something. I am so high naturally that I believe that if I ever put another high into my system, I might end up being the most high. <laughs> See? But we can't have you be the most high. Gosh, we yes, like to highlight yes, like this. Gosh, so, yes, so, do you? Are you still a Muslim? <laughs> Well, I would say that Islam drew me into a journey that was so beautiful. It's part of my story. Mm. But right now, I don't believe in religion. Mm. Wow. I am more of a follower of Christ. Mm. Okay. See? So you're a Christian? Follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. Right now, when you say Christian, you are going to, the next question is, do I speak in tongues? Mm -hmm. Next question is, did I get baptized? Yeah. So I want to see myself more as a follower of Christ. Mm. Christ was an anti-establishment person who mm. came and pulled down all the walls of religion and right. said, no more doves, no more goats, no more confessing to a man, confess to the Most High Jah. Don't stand here and say Jerusalem is a place where it's holy and your prayer would only be accepted when we stand on this mountain. Mm. Anywhere you stand, you shall link up with the Most High. Mm. See? So that's Christ I represent. Mm. Right. I don't believe in religion. There's a difference between religion and spirituality. Yeah. Religion yeah. is when you cannot go before God until you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. You cannot go before yeah. God unless you are well dressed or you wear something or you religion don't wear has something. More laid down or you are sitting on the WC yeah. and you can't talk to them. More. No. Mm. But Christ I, never said that. Well, other sects say that. So that's mm. religion. Okay. Is that why you like yeah. tend to quote more of the Bible when you're chanting? Yes. In mm. fact, I've been a Bible person for a very long time, mostly because it's in English. 
and I read everything that I came across mm. in my days coming up. Mm. You know, Adventures of Teen Teen, mm -hmm. the Diaco, the <laughs> Adventurer, and all those things. Yeah. I read them mm. at a point I could even recite them ditto. Mm. See? So um, the Bible, I gravitated towards the Bible just because I wanted to argue. Mm. <laughs> read the Bible. Okay, here, this Bible is here. This is here. This is here. These two are contradictory. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Then we mm. argue and feel irony. Mm. Yeah, right. niceness, niceness, now, niceness. You, you, you had your um, BSc in land economy. Yeah. So mm. why did you, and you, you've had gone ahead to have your MSc? Yes. You even put, have to put your PhD yeah. on hold. Yes. Why did you decide to end up on radio permanently? You know, when I was posted uh, for my national service in Takrady, I was at Stool Lands. Mm. In fact, if I had stayed at Studlands for another few months, I'm sure I would have died. <laughs> I was <Why> so <laughs> bored. <laughs> you just sit down there and wait for people to come for you to write their names and, mm -hmm. you know, advise them on something with my locks flowing yeah. all mm. over my... People will come and hide and look. Ah, nah, ah. So, I remember there was an old woman who came in and looked around okay, and... Boy, said, ah. <laughs> like, as if she had lost her way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is this? Whiny. You know? Most yeah. women are now this year. And you see? <laughs> so uh, I think that I am not an academician, even mm. though I am. My mm. sisters all have mm. their doctorate degrees mm. and all that. Mm. I should have had a double doctorate by now. Mm. But I think that my calling is more of speaking in the microphone and then mm. oratory, speaking to mm. people and trying yeah. to convince mm. people mm. to follow a certain correct mm. path. No, we will come yeah. to that correct path, you mm -hmm. know, but just run us through your radio journey, yeah. you know, in Ghana. Mm. Well, I've worked with a number of radio stations. Mm -hmm. It all started with uh, University of Science and Technology's radio station. I think they called it mm -hmm. Contato at the time. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to Radio Savannah. From Radio Savannah in Tamale, I went to um, Radio Progress in Wa. From Wa, this was just during the holidays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when I finished school, I went to Takrade. Mm. That was where everything blew up into a bonfire. Yeah. Yeah, I worked with Good News FM. And these days, I see some grown-up men who come up to me and say, oh, when I was a little boy in the JSS one, I was listening to <laughs> How does that make you feel? Yeah. Like, I don't feel so old. <laughs> Not so <long>. You know? <laughs> yeah, so I went to Good News FM. Then I had a small thing with uh, Sky Power. Mm. Okay. You know, I went there to play reggae there, and they felt that I didn't play good reggae. Mm. And I'm glad I taught them a lesson of their lives. Where people look down on me and make me feel like I'm not that good, well, I go back and punish them spiritually and physically. In what way? How do I do it? Yeah, yeah in what Simple. way? Simple. I made sure that I shone brighter than they ever saw. Mm. Mm. When they said I wasn't that good, mm -hmm. well, I went to Good News FM and mm -hmm. opened full wattage for them to see the heat and the power. And they felt Can it? Done. They Can felt done. it from the <laughs> soles of their feet mm. all the way to the crown of their hairs. Yeah, it man. was like a shock of electricity. Mm. Oh, what happened? Really? Now, I think it's a politician. I don't know, you know, but he's in there. Mm. Nice man. I mean, he invited me and said I wasn't that good because they enjoyed Monopoly at that time. Right. So when Good News came and I did that thing, he came begging. Mm. He brought, brought me my very first car, remember, Opel Vectra. Young boy oh, just wow. coming out of the university. <laughs> you know, mm. he gave me that, mm. gave me a house, and, well, we turned all that down. Mm. Mm. I was just happy that the guy who said I wasn't yeah. good enough now was coming with his tail in between his legs mm -hmm. and asking me to come join his radio station. So you went back? No, sir. I decided yeah. not to sell out my people. I've mm. never sold out anybody. My loyalty has always been 100%. The rest must be loyal. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Right. So after good news, then where? Then after good news, then um, I, I spoke with Kingsman and came to Happy FM, mm -hmm. right. where Accra tasted my fire mm. for the first time. Mm. Then from um, Happy FM, I went to Hits FM mm -hmm. by the kind courtesy of Kwesi Chum, who heard me on radio yeah. and was blown away. Mm. Mm. So when he put me on radio, I gave him part of the magic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And boom, well, I had a stink with Joy FM. And then from there, uh, well, I resigned from uh, uh, Hits, Hits FM. Mm. You know, some parliamentary shenanigans left, yeah, right, man, and center yeah, that man. everybody knows. No more. Yes, <laughs> we'll see no more. So I withdrew, <laughs> went to America to go and lecture. You know, mm. the size of Black Rasta are many. 
Mm. Some people just thought that with your mm. locks, you had nothing to offer academically. Mm. Yeah. So when I went to the U.S., I blew down two universities. Mm. University of North Carolina okay. and University of Central Missouri. Mm. So when Ghanaians heard about that, they were mesmerized. Mm. But I left all that, came back and joined Nam One's xylophone. Mm. FM. How was it like yeah. working yeah. with Nam One mm -hmm. and well, xylophone media? That was good money, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. Money was uh, it the money? No, no, that not at you. all. Not you see, people started referring to me as an ex radio presenter, mm. and that kills me. Mm. You see, once a man, a man forever, yeah. you know. So, ex radio presenter, or children, what mm. is it? So I wanted to come back and show them that no, an old soldier is still capable of firing. firing yeah. mm. So I came back on Namwan Stain. He gave me a beautiful car, which I thank him so much for. He still have good that car? Cash. Yes, yes, yes. I drove it here. Nice. You know, and some good cash. And Rastaman, I mm. shared the money on the street. Thanks to the Most High Jah. Mm. Then I have my car. Every month I was receiving a good salary. And, you know, I was one of his favorites. Mm. Until we had to pack bag and baggage again. Mm and work out. So right yeah. now, I am a lone ranger yeah. waiting to fire again. Okay. But what do you make of the misfortune that befell him? Well, I think that the country would have, uh, in fact, could have handled it better. This was mm. a young man, 32 years, so inexperienced. He had a windfall. He made his mistakes. You know, the country, if it was a country that thought about the local entrepreneur, mm. they are only thinking about foreigners, come invest, come in local investor then say hey, shut it down so how would you mm. have handled it simple where are the loopholes before the uh, attorney general at that time left he had written a few things that could have been done but when the, this party came into power they quickly mm. kicked him out and decided to kick out number one i mean it's public knowledge this man had done business people owed him money to the tune of about 40 million american dollars which he won in dubai couldn't they have followed up on that and loopholes here, let's seal up that, let's seal up that, let us, you know, deal with your business properly. But they shut it down. But there, are, there are rules and regulations yeah. that govern yes. every, exactly, um, yeah. every business, you mm -hmm. know. You were warned. I mean, people, we, we, we issued a whole I mean, lot of, you yeah. know, uh, uh, precautionary measures that mm -hmm. had to be followed. Mm -hmm. they, they did, I mean, they were not followed. Whose business is it to make sure that we are coming to support? So all the something, something, 30 something million yeah. Ghanaians, we are following everybody to make sure that we are trying to sort everything. Can we do that? Was he a special case? No. You see, that's why I say if a country truly respects its local investors, mm. there's always a way out. How did the other regime do it? They were trimming the few rough edges. Mm. The UK in, close them. Look at the number of banks that have been shut down. Just yesterday, the GIPC boss, I think it's called Yofi, Yofi Grant. Grant. Yeah. You know, yes, every uh, foreign investor is eyeing Ghana now. Eyeing Ghana how? Because if you look down on your local investors and you are bringing in foreign investors, mm. what is the minimum uh, wage in Ghana? Lebanese, Chinese, Indians are slapping employees night and day. So everybody's attracted. You can come and play the fool in Ghana and go away and make your money, mm. carry all your money away. You think that is what is attracting exactly. them and not... what else? We do not have a platform when for viable business. the rule business. of law has become a buffoonery. Mm. What is the... Look at the U.S. The uh, State Department, Department report. See, just yeah. look at that, Bridget. Mm. Hey, judges and the judiciary are taking bribes and then losing files. Mm. Your prison has become a punitive center rather than a purgatory center. Mm. See, you're supposed to beg the people not to punish, punish them. them. Mm. You put them in there and turn them into animals. It's mm. like our hospitals. You go in with malaria, they heal the malaria and come out with 17 more sicknesses, tuberculosis and the rest. You catch that and come. Mm. You see, we, we have to be real and mm. let the people understand that mm. the country is for all of us. We all will right. be Hold real. Fire, we Rasta. will be real. <laughs> no, I like where we are going, you <laughs> yeah. know. So yeah. um, we'll just take a break. When mm -hmm. we come back, we Blazing are just hot. Blazing into hot. the whole conversation. <laughs> City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363 on Go TV. Access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. 
CTTV can be accessed on a free-to-air digital box like the GoTV and Star Times box. CTTV, it's your world. Welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show here on City TV. We're having an interesting conversation with a man who speaks truth to power. Black Rasta. More fire. <laughs> <laughs> Rasta. So, yes, um, you talk, you know, you, you speak your mind. Mm -hmm. You are not afraid yeah. to express how you feel, especially about governance. Do you have an issue with this current government? In fact, I've always had an issue with every government. Mm. Because, you see, some people would ask you, so why are you not talking about the last regime? Why should I talk about the last regime? Mm -hmm. The last regime is dead and buried. Mm. Yeah. We didn't like the last regime. That's why we voted you to give us a breath of fresh air, mm -hmm. a sigh of relief. Mm. Do you expect me to go back and talk about the ghost of the last regime? What is this? You mm. see, so I have a problem with every government. And you see, I thrive on criticism. Okay. When people critique me, mm. I look at you, you get free, I mean, <laughs> consultancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some yeah. people take it so personal. They want to kill you, they want to slaughter mm. you because you've spoken truth to power. Mm. Have and you this seen where I get my power. Yourself? Oh, yes. From A who? number of threats. I mean, I mean, recently, mm -hmm. uh, Thief President was pulled down. Mm. Some people wrote so many letters to YouTube. Asking YouTube to pull it down. Thief the president is president. your new song. My yeah. new song. Right. But, but, but that song, Rasta, you know, I mean, when you listen to it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's fire. Song, fire. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I'm a fireman, so, I mean, fire is always hot. There's no fire that is cold, mm. you see. But can't you find a nicer way, you know, to put a message across? I mean, because if yeah. you go out front and say that, yo, Mr. President, you're a thief. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that is too much. You're not afraid you can be arrested over and over again? Interestingly, yeah. no president was mentioned. In almost every country in Africa, there seems to be a thief president. Mm -hmm. You see, in Kenya, they are crying. They say, hey, he's talking about Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm. In Nigeria, oh, Fulani Man Buhari. Oh, uh, in Cameroon, Paul, Paul Bia. In mm. Togo, hey, Foreigner Singbe. In Ghana, Nana Kufuado. So who the cap fits? Let, Let him wear, wear it. it. That's why in that song, I mean... You see, the Rasta man throws one stone. Mm -hmm. And when I throw the stone, whoever it hits is your problem. Are you a controversial yeah. person? Well, I think that I'm a knowledgeable person who wants to see the world get better. Right. You see, I hate it going out there and then you sound ignorant. Mm -hmm. So who really are you fighting for? You don't have the facts. Mm -hmm. You are just talking. Mm -hmm. See? So Thief President is a song that is a stamp of almost every African president. Why did you yeah. do that song? Because we have a president in Ghana, my own backyard, mm -hmm. that I think is arrogant. A president who has no respect for the people. You fly nine, ten day, arrogantly will refuse to tell us how much of our money you are flying with. And when we ask you, you say, oh, it borders and national hinges security. on national security. You blow mm -hmm. my money away and I'm asking you how much. You are disgracing me nine, ten day. Look at the American report. Nobody wants that. You see, we are talking to you. You see, they, some of them think they are so old, so they will not listen to people who are younger than them. Have you seen an arrogant president like this president before? So if I'm talking to him, you wouldn't listen. But, 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 yes. but you are talking to him. Mm -hmm. Why must he take what you are saying? If you are talking to him yeah. and he's not taking it and you are insisting, are you not being arrogant? Are okay. you not accusing him of the yeah. same thing you say he's doing? Oh, this is beautiful. I love this question. When I say you, it's not a you of singular. No, because you made reference to mm -hmm. the president, president. and yeah. stuff that he has done. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, so you are saying that if I, yes. as Black Rust, I'm talking to the president. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm saying is that it's not me, you, Black like if Rasta, everybody is but talking. the electorate. Okay. Mm. Who am I? Just a simple Rasta man who is so mm. humble and so, I mean. With a no, loud voice. With a loud <laughs> voice, maybe. Mm -hmm. So in that song, mm. I broke it down very beautifully. Mm -hmm. I said, Mr. President, mm -hmm. before you got into the presidency, you told us you are an angel mm. and that you make it better for us mm -hmm. and that we really have gold. We are sitting on money and we cannot mm -hmm. make good use of the money because of bad leadership. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you are doing nothing. Mm -hmm. What a liar. 
do you want us to see you as? What category of lion are you into? So this song <laughs> is for everybody who occupies that seat. Mm. Whether NPP, NDC, CPP, PPP, mm. whoever occupies the seat, or you are talking specifically to the current president. It's for everybody who's a thief president. Mm. And Nanado cannot uh, run away from that. Mm. That is the truth. Can you explain this? Can you defend yourself if you're called exactly, by national yeah. security? Mr. President, why you they lie so? Before election, you tell me you be in jail. When you sick, you run go to London. When we sick, we die for Kolebo. Mr. <laughs> President, why you wicked so? Tell me how you they sleep at night. Oh. Some people are so wicked and they are still able to sleep at night. Me, when I do one wicked thing and I go to bed, I can't sleep. My eyes will open like this till the next day. These guys do all these things. What and do you not consider? Ashamed. What do you consider what wicked? is wickedness? Yes. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. What are some of the mercy. wicked things that you do? Wickedness. Mm -hmm. Wickedness is when you blow our money away and you don't want to account. Wickedness is when the electorate votes you into power and you refuse to listen to the electorate. Wickedness is when people are sleeping under roofless buildings and go to school wading through water. Mm. And sit in classrooms that have no walls. So, but so could, Rasta, could, could, could you agree that the electorates are demanding too much at a particular time? And well, these things take time to do. It would only become too much mm. if the president stops flying. If the president does not tell us that, well, he has enough hidden money to fly, mm. if his ministers would go out for treatment when we stay here and die, we would all agree with Mr. President and say, oh, okay, Mr. President needs time to be able to deal with these things. Mm. If Chairman Woon to me won't come and show us how much gold he's making from his party and his cohorts, yet the rest of the country are suffering. You understand? So, so, so now a person can't be mm. a businessman in peace anymore? Yeah. I like that. It's beautiful. Listen, I tell you something. When I'm working with, with people and I have my personal money and I want to eat, I will look at those people. If they're not eating, I will not eat. I will wait and eat later. Hey, the whole country is crying. Mr. President wants to build a cathedral. You sit here and tell me that that is not wickedness? 100 million you want to use that to build a cathedral. So, Rasta. There are schools. What She's would, interrupting me too much. She's not making me flow. What would you rather he uses that money for? Schools are breaking down. Mm. You understand? People are going through water. They are mm. unable to go to school and do to you were fed six times a day in Nkrumah's government. Mm. Today, students are betting their lives away. Mm. Students are buying cars to be able to fit into the economy. Mm. Today, when I went to the University of Science and Technology, look, I had time to sit and study and concentrate on my studies. But today, they are betting their lives away. They are into bakery businesses. Is it not a lifestyle they have chosen what for themselves? What lifestyle? Why was it not a lifestyle mm. when I was there? Betting when Mr. Was President was there? In your hey, as it is there was today. no lottery. There was, but it wasn't Banker as to banker was, was there. Mm. Banker to banker was there. It just tells you that the economy has become worse. Rasta. We are not being passionate about which party is in government. Mm. The truth is that mm -hmm. the walls of our country's economy have crumpled down like a house of cats. So all mm. this agenda, you know, so all the, I mean, stuff you talk about when you get on radio, I mean, everything you talk about yeah. in your song, in, I mean, stuff that, that you post you and, do all, and all that. What do you want? Oh, Jesus have mercy. I want to see people safe and sound i want to see less terrorization of journalists mm. i want to see that our money is used judiciously mm. not to build cathedrals for a certain god who doesn't live in brick houses and who had a promise from a president who was not a president at that time i didn't make that promise mm. what are you taking us for your people are flaunting wealth away and you come and tell us that you don't have the money and somebody is telling me they are business people. Mm. Oh, really? They are the only business people who are prospering in Ghana, right? That's why they say it's family and friends. Right. Have you stated anywhere that mm -hmm. your next employer should pay you 10,000 CDs? Well, that was a miscommunication. You see, Freema, I'll tell you something. In 2007, before I joined Xylophone, mm -hmm. People were asking me, when are you coming on radio? I said, listen, I think I've paid my dues. Mm. Right now, I'm not going back on radio until a, a man is ready to pay me one 10,000 Ghana cities as salary. Mm -hmm. He must give me a car and must give me some poaching money. Mm. Mm. I made it clear. These are not things I would like to hide. Okay. Is that what Nanapia gave Namwan you? came and gave me that. I've made it 
clear all mm. over the place. Okay. So now I'm asked, 2017, this was what we said. Now what are you going to do? And mm -hmm. I say, 2017 is gone. Now the yardstick has increased. Mm -hmm. It should be higher than the 10,000. So now how much, so how, much, how much should we pay you? How much yes. must I be paid? Yes. I've not really thought about it, but I think that it should be twice or thrice what I took in 2017. 20K a month. Or 30K a month. Yes. And you and think that an employer plus. in Ghana, uh, I mean a media house, will pay you that money? You know how much media people are making? How well, I'm asking If you. I tell you how much <laughs> money people are making in the media space, mm. You would look at, look, journalists, this, you deserve better than 30,000 Ghana cities. How much is that in dollars? No, no, I, we understand. But what I'm asking but you are is, we making is, that in yes. reality? Are we is, this, that is money? this what you want an employer to pay you? <laughs> exactly that. Okay. That's my words. Because I, I agree with you that <laughs> you have a certain platform mm, thank you. that can help you do so many other right. things to give you probably even much more than 30K. Mm, yes. But you are looking at, for instance, City TV has employed you. Mm. City TV should pay you 30K. Mm -hmm. That is how much you want. If it is a full-time employment, mm. Mm. give me 50K, 50K, and 30 to 50K, depending what, on what I'm going to do. And you also want to do your own thing. Mm -hmm. My own thing like what? I.e. give you space to do stuff to that Black fire, Rasta to wants fire. to do. All and that means is that do not try to limit me to what mm. I can do. Some people will tell you, don't talk about this political party. Don't talk about that. Mm. That is a space where black Rasta will never fly. Rasta. And, and uh, sorry, what, what, what <laughs> you will be doing will help the company make enough to pay you that 30 oh, brilliant question. Mm. When I was working at multimedia, you could never go for a salary raise if you couldn't prove how much you brought to warrant that. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the kind of space. When we, when we went to Xylophone, mm -hmm. then PMS I said, no adverts here. No, I just want you to entertain the people. I said, that is not the kind of space I can fly in. Mm -hmm. I make money. Mm -hmm. Can I make my money? Mm -hmm. Then he said, everybody was wearing suit. I was the only person who was allowed to wear my African things. So these are some of the things I'm talking mm -hmm. about. I'm a wise person. I will not go and say I'm going to stage a coup d'etat because I know that within mm -hmm. the framework of the country, this is out. Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do, you have, do you have an issue, you know, um, working with laid down procedures? Mm -hmm. Can you follow rules and regulations? Is that you? Oh, yes, I do. Or else you'd have heard that uh, I was jailed some, several years ago or mm -hmm. some other such things. Yes, I'm a law abiding person, mm -hmm. no traffic offense, nothing. Just as you said, off radio, I am the gentleman that you want to see. Mm -hmm. See? But when I'm on radio, there's a spirit that enters me, and that spirit is bigger than Satan. Mm. You see? But if so that yeah. spirit bring you trouble, will that spirit be there to defend you? I love that. Mm. This is my calling. So whatever I go out to do, I am ready to face the bull by the horn. Mm. That, that's why Bob Marley said, if I am guilty, mm. I will pay. Yeah. No, it's an irresponsible person who will drive himself into trouble, and then you want other people and spirits yeah. to come in. Take you out. Mm. I don't believe in spirits dropping things from the air. Spirit is supposed to empower you to move on, mm. not for you to lie down and have manna falling mm. on you from spirit. Right. So Nana Pia Mensa came. I mean, you put what you were looking for out there, you yeah. know, and he felt he could do it, so yeah. he did it. And I'm sure probably, you know, other people mm. also put their message across and they also got what they felt they deserve and what he can he could yeah. do. Mm. Today when you sit back and watch um, all those people, I don't know for one of a better word maybe i can use victims of men's gold you know mm. people have a certain perception that you took people's money yeah. spread it across gave people some kind of lavish lifestyle at the expense of yeah. innocent people when you watch these kind of articles exactly, you know in yeah. the news when you see people talk about this how do you feel you are still driving that car brilliant one you see I'll tell you something. I remember there was a time, and I've told this story several times, mm. that I was going to work, and then Sami Flex called me and said, I hear the place has been invaded. Don't go there. Your life is at risk. I said, but my listeners need to listen to me. You see? So I had to go. They said, don't go. But I went. Mm -hmm. When I got there, yes, truly, there were some people there chasing me because they had heard that this was Black Rasta coming. Mm. Police, you know, presence mm. there. I parked the car. And then there was a woman who started insulting me, saying so many things. Crumb four, Rasta, Wolfing, blah, blah. A mm. wallipatane, man. She was just saying it, throwing words at me. 
And there were two other guys behind there who said, you cannot talk to this guy like that. Mm. This is a man who speaks the truth. Mm. In the company of 100 thieves, if this man is included, then it is his ghost, not him. Mm. I was shocked to hear that. But you see, when you do good things, people would always exempt you from yeah. some of these things. Mm. I joined Men's uh, 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 Xylophone. And just after about one month, Men's Gold was dead. Mm. See? I never worked with Men's Gold. I worked with Xylophone. How long were you mm. at um, Xylophone for? Sorry? How long did you work at Xylophone? Oh, I was there for three solid years. Oh, but wow. I'm saying that when I started, yeah, yeah, just yeah. one month after yeah, I, I joined, it. Yeah. Yeah. it crashed. Yeah. Yeah. But we were still in the... Listen, I've said it time and again. 17 solid months from I was never paid. Yeah. But for loyalty's sake, mm. much as I would say, pay me 50,000, mm -hmm. pay me 30,000, mm. I also have a huge heart mm. that can understand and look at the condition of service. Mm. 17 months. Mm. I was driving, burning fuel night and day, going to work. Mm. 17. Was this a xylophone? Times 10,000 mm. Ghana cities. That's how ah. much? Mm. A xylophone, yes. Mm. I mean, it's no secret. When you mm. Google, you see it everywhere. Yeah. Mm. I will not leave an employee in the middle because mm. he's in trouble. Yeah. No. Yes. When we got in there, we heard that, oh, and he was fraud, blah, 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 blah. Mm. At the time, xylophone was, uh, men's was already dead. Okay. Mm. So we tried to understand the whole thing. Mm. But what I came up with, some of us even died. I mean, Willie Roy died. He mm. was one of us. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the woman who was chasing me and insulting me, I said, Mami, Ade, Upekano, Beje. I gave her the car. So there are videos going around. Mm. You can say, J, 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 Tonka, Nuna, Fashe. Because I don't like seeing people mm. suffering. Yeah. What is a car to a Rasta man? People have taken Rasta for granted for far too long. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. They will mm -hmm. call a certain ball head. And when I say ball head, I'm not talking about the normal mm. ball head. Mm. I'm talking about somebody with that Rast mm. locks. Mm. And pay this person 500k. Mm. Come and mine. Mine me. Hoi, 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 hoi. Ha, ha, ha. Hoi, hoi, hoi. And I come with a full band set. Yeah. Rock the people with full energy. Mm. Mm. Two hours, I must take like a mad lion. Mm. Then I finish, oh, Rasta, they say, in Tampio. Challenge it. <laughs> they give you in Tampio. Are, are and, you serious? Oh, yes. Do you know how many times? Like, oh, money, no. money to buy in Tampio or like in Tampi, physical in Tampio? In Tampio, they give it to you and give you transport. That take it and go. But that's an insult. Oh, well. In ta Rasta, they in Tampio. How do you Tampi. deal with such a thing? Well, well, I mean, with time, we have come to realize that some people, you have to be upfront with them. Yeah. This is what I want when I perform the show. Mm -hmm. Like recently, you know, there was this Paris, Accra, yeah. something, yes, something yeah. that yes, happened. Yes. And I tweeted and posted it out. I mean, how can you go to such a big platform to mine? Are you joking? Who was my man? This, some of the artists were my man. Mm. I Which think Kobna Kobna was the only artist who played live or something. Mm. And I'm like, if Kobna can insist, to play live that's mm -hmm. professional yeah. yeah you decided to be unprofessional mm. in order to get greedy and pocket all the money that would have been meant for the band mm. killing the talent of musicians mm. those who talk better yeah. this and you alone mm. you go and hop around mm. then at the end of the day awards coming these are the guys who get the awards who is this mm. for which one what you just said, who is it for? It's for those people who are mommy, Shatawale, and is I don't think Shatawale was in Paris. No, no, no. I'm not you are talking about this particular right. show? No, I'm yeah, talking about general. Talking about about people general people who just go out All there. Right. But how how is your music mm. career doing? Music? Yeah. Well, this is reggae music where mm -hmm. they pay give you in tampe as your pay. So <laughs> <laughs> if you judge it by the tampe yeah. standards, then I'm doing mm. extremely well. But you mm. know, you came up with a Barack Obama song. Yeah. And that, that was an instant hit. You mm -hmm. know, everybody likes it. Now people are using it for their own beats yeah. and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> I'm sure recently you've you've seen your song all over the place on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw something like that happening. Yeah. 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 I mean, Barack Obama was an angelic song. It was mm -hmm. a song that I made in less than two hours. Mm. Wow. You know, I've made more serious songs, more melodious songs, yeah. mm. songs that had a lot inside. Mm. But a hit is a hit. Yeah. Yeah. One corner was a hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is in yeah, one true. corner? Mm. You mm -hmm. understand? So sometimes the songs that you look at and say, okay, this one, dear. Yeah. Barack Obama is not even one millionth the capacity of Black Rasta. Mm. Mm. Listen to the whole line. It even sounds yeah. like uh, a friend then, uh, you know, kindergarten. You know, para, para, pam, para, pam, para, para, 
Da, 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 like you are singing to children. Yeah. Simple whole line. Mama, mama, come make me talk. Come make me talk about Barack Obama. Papa, papa, sing. Come make me talk. Come make me talk about Barack Obama. Barack, Barack, Barack Obama. Barack, everybody is singing. Yeah. But See, you don't think it caught along because it was easy to sing along to? I've made easier songs than that, mm. but more melodious. Mm. Right. Like Thief President. Mm -hmm. No, it's funny that <laughs> you, I mean, you, have two, you. you have two <laughs> songs about president. Yeah. One mm -hmm. seems to praise yes. a foreign president. Yes. And then one seems to criticize I mean, your own. Criticize your have, own. You, have you heard Dom, Dom Trump? No. Donald Trump, mm -hmm. you okay, too Trump. dumb. Everywhere you go, dumb, dumb, dumb. Why you dumb, dumb? So everywhere, <laughs> dumb, dumb. Oh my God, why you dumb, dumb? So. Is this something you deliberately choose to do? I deliberately hate at people who look down on people. Mm. Mm. When people, that's why I made a song for Kwame Nkrumah, and there was no thief president in it. Yeah, Kwame Nkrumah, oh, why did you live so soon? I and I miss you so. When we are go see you again. Look, I make some of the best songs in the world. Mm -hmm. But greed and wickedness will not let people gravitate towards you. Mm. Because you insulted your grandfather 60 million years ago. For that matter, no matter what you do, they don't want to gravitate towards you. Mm. Like who and who and who? Oh, they are there. I mean, a whole heap of people. Ghanaians mm. generally mm. are mediocre minded when mm. it comes to entertainment. How do we mm. change that? Good! Media, don't take people to Paris to go and mine. Yet these are the same people who want Grammy. Mm -hmm. You think Grammy is for jokers? You want Grammy? Me per Grammy. Rocky Dawoodi was no. Do you know how long Rocky Dawoodi has been playing live music? Mm -hmm. You want to mine and go take a Grammy? When you see me on stage and you have never seen a lion, don't look for a lion again. You've seen mm -hmm. one. You've seen one? Yeah. That's it. And people watch me and they're like, ah, Charlie. Check your family. I sure say some witch did there. I said the mm. witch is the mediocre Ghanaian entertainment uh, people. Mm. That's how it is. Until Jay Z comes out to say, hey, "Wow!" I listen to a Black Rasta song and I'm um, wow. Then six billion Ghanaians will now move towards me. Mm -hmm. He said, "Yeah, we all knew that he was good, you know." <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Mm. So you think there's hypocrisy in the system? Extremely that. <laughs> Elephant man in Jamaica just yeah, last year was yeah. told that if you don't play live, we are not supporting your shows yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. See? And he's the king of boom, boom, yeah. boom, energy. Yeah. So is miming your only problem? A lot more. A lot more. Everybody seems to be doing a dance song right now. I see if that's the only thing. It's easy to make dance songs. Hey, 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 hey. Move from the message to just. Hey, 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 hey. Like one corner. I love one corner. I mean, Patapa is a brother that I love. Tiki, tiki, tiki. One corner. One corner. One corner. Hey, where the road day? The traffic light make red. Pass. One corner. One corner. One corner. One corner. You see, that every is so easy to make dance songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who cannot like my song? Did 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 Simple. Tio 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 fatio 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 Pablo Salma fatio Akumaye fatio. Did 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 That's it. It's finished. See, that's how it goes. So when a nation moves away from melody and rhythm. And just goes after dance, then we are in trouble. Mm. Where are the ballads? Mm. Yeah. They are all gone. Gospel artists are out of business now. Those who used to play melody, mm. you know, and sing, and the heavens would come down, are all doing something else right now. Mm. They are doing uh, what's the South African style of music? That thing, uh, I'm a piano, I'm a piano, and all them things. Mm. Mm. See, so if if you are to name five Ghanaians mm -hmm. musicians who are doing well mm -hmm. you know who should be the examples if we are looking at ambassadors for Ghana music mm. who would you name oh I love that certainly I'll look for those who are playing live band and mm. Amanziba is a crazy artist I okay. love to see him on stage play yeah mm. Felix Bell is, Where's Felix Bell Felix Bell is around I mean they will not mm. call him because he doesn't make dance songs you know mm -hmm. yes 
uh, Rex Omar, I just invited him to, uh, I mean, Kuchoku, and he killed the people. Yeah. Mm. Rex Omar is another Kojo mm. entry, mm. Samini. Mm. What Samini? Yeah. yeah. Forget that he went into politics and well. Yeah. I mean, a good musician yeah. is a good and musician. And all that. He's a On good stage artist. Is mm. yeah. Kobna Kobna is not a bad artist. Mm. He sings melody. Listen to him. Yeah. See, these are the people who can carry the music ahead. But right now, everybody is miming. Mm. You go to, look, the last, in my days, miming was for secondarians. People were doing school fanfares. Mm. They were now learning. But people who have won mobile, you have won BET, and you are still miming. What are you taking your audience for? Mm. Yeah, we have to grow beyond that. The names you mentioned, yeah. they don't have any of the new generation or the new acts in there. Okay, mention the new ones and I'll tell you something about them. Any one of them. The Sarkodie, the Stoneboy. Sarkodie is a miming artist. The Squammy Eugen. Sarkodie is a miming mm -hmm. artist. Sarkodie comes and he plays back. Mm. He did a live show, I think when he was releasing his Mary album. Yeah. Even um, Chikate's son. I mean, Manifest. Manifest. He played live and it was mm. people's, yeah. oh, Charlie, this is good. Mm. But... It's so uncomfortable for them because in singing life, your real energy comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, miming, switch off the mic. I was watching Accra Paris, that thing. Yeah. And Sarkodie was on stage. Mm. Then I heard Castro's voice. I said, ah, has Castro <laughs> returned? Obi Aran to connection. Obi Aran to connection. Yes, ah, this is Sark. This is Castro. And yeah, brother, they made a song together. <laughs> and he's miming. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. Not even instrumental mm. where he can sink into. No, mm. miming. And this is a superstar. Right. You see, when you speak like this, they feel like you hate them. Mm. Mm. Where is the hatred? You are crumbling all of us under the same mediocrity. Mm. Mm. That's why you say Nigerians don't respect you. What do you think about Black Sheriff? Black Sheriff. Is a brother who is very lucky. Mm. People have made better songs than Kweku Traveler. He's very lucky. He has a certain grace that's upon him. If mm. I were him, mm -hmm. I would start looking at the mistakes of others and move on. Mm. I've listened to only two of his songs and I think that they're so similar. Mm. Similarity is not one way. Mm. But if it's not careful, he will be a one way artist. Mm. His songs sound almost the same. Right. He's a good guy. I love him. I would love to see his energy. I would love to see him grow. He's a young guy. Yeah. Mm. People like Kweku the Trap, uh, uh, Black, 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 Black Sheriff, when they mind, mm. I would forgive them and say, well, they are just coming up. Mm. They will grow into something bigger. Mm. But not Sakodie, not Stoneboy. You understand? Yeah. Not Shatawale. Mm. No. What you call me Eugene and the Kiddies and the Kelvin Boys and Kim Oh, Thomas. beautifully. Beautifully, mm. these are the guys who are even singing live. Mm. I saw Kwame Eugene singing live and I was yeah. so excited. He has good melody. Kiddy is my artist. Mm. I love Kiddy. The kind of melodies he sings, mm. I love that. Mm. But the rest are just miming. Kelvin Boy is also a live band guy. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we should take our music to and not the miming classroom. Mm. Right. Yeah. So, Rasta, if you had the opportunity to change something in Ghana, mm -hmm. in politics, in mm -hmm. entertainment, I mean, media, mm. everywhere, what would that be? Well, there are too many things to change, you know. <laughs> well, in <laughs> my top three. in my first one hour of govern governance, mm. uh -huh. I'll ban boxing in this country. Why? Why? It's barbarism. Why? Why should you be beating each other? For what? It is a sport. It's no, sport. But, but you don't force people into it. What is the sense? Do you, do you force people into stealing? No, you don't. Listen, s s boxing is a sport that is a saddest sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sport where people sit down and clap as people are suffering. Mm. The more you can draw blood out of people, the bigger you are. Mm. But, and as historians, when you look at the history of boxing, yeah. it's just to make white people happy. Mm. You know, black people come together, beat each other from the days of the nights when they were spearing mm. each other and all that. That's, you know, the life of who in his right senses would endorse boxing? Beating each other, drawing blood. I've seen people box and people collapsed. Okay, mm. yeah. so you ban yeah. boxing and yes. then what? Boxing is one thing I'm going to ban. Uh -huh. And the other thing that I will do, oh my God, uh -huh. 
is to make sure that Nkrumah is studied in every single school in Ghana. But we study mm. Nkrumah. No, which, which school? But Nkrumah is oh, part of our. I mean, if you are doing history, you study Nkrumah. If you are doing social which studies, history? Mm -hmm. social studies, you study Nkrumah. So who doesn't know? Yeah. Who doesn't know Nkrumah is the first person of Ghana? Is and what has to major in what? In Nkrumah or something? What? So Nkrumah should be a subject or a course? Go to the University of Ghana. Uh huh. The history students begin learning history by studying European history. That's where we've come from. I am going to learn history, and I'm beginning with European mm. history. Then you teach me JSS Kwame Nkrumah, and you tell me that you are teaching me history. <laughs> the same JSS Kwame mm. Nkrumah, they are telling you that Nkrumah was a dictator who did A, B, C, D. The two Ghana CD note is missing. All of a sudden, Founders Day is scraped off, and so on. Mm. I want Nkrumah to be studied as an authority. Right. What will be the third? <laughs> third thing you do. <laughs> well, I mean, this is Ghana. Mm -hmm. For me, I would make sure that patriotism, mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, uh, apart from patriotism, not nationalism, mm -hmm. but all in all, patriotism, mm -hmm. morality yeah. would be instilled in the youth. Mm. Amen. That's why we have to go now, but you have to bless us with a prayer, you know. All right. Blessed is the man that worked at Nathan at the consular of Eden. I sit at in at a seat at a scandal, but it's daylight. It's another the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And in this Lord, I see I did sunrise and sundown. Him I go there like a tree planted by the rivers of water, water. that bring out fat fruit in the season. Him live never go wither, and while sorrowful him do shall prosper. The heathen them now they saw them there like a chaff with the wind rivet away there for the heathen them. Never go turn upon judgment or the sinner man them in the congregation or the I trust for the Lord God. Ja, love it the way the I trust and the way the sinner man them always and always let everybody say, Ja! Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and then we have to hear the song, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> that is back to people. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. The people to hear the great. The great. Mm -hmm. What are you leading the people to? The great. Hear it now. See them a come, they come in like an angel. But they my teeth, them no say they my teeth. Mr. President, you no say you a teeth man. Everybody no say you a big teeth. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Nice, nice, nice. It's been nice. an amazing show, interesting conversation. We appreciate right, you right, so right. much. And uh, we give thanks uh, for the opportunity uh, to have you on our show. It's been great. It's been amazing. My name is Nana Tufo. My name is Prima Elbira. Thank you, Master. Bless you.